Ninja Laws, a Nintendo Switch online brawler game about kids as gum-wielding ninjas, and it's super creative looking and free to play. <gasps> huh. But you still gotta pay up for a Ninjala Pass to get the full experience and earn rewards from cosmetics. Hey, at least it's cheaper than buying a new game for 60 bucks, and I probably would have had more fun with this game than Red Dead 2. Yeah, this game has microtransactions, but they're mostly for cosmetics, and you can earn the in-game currency by completing missions and after you buy the Ninja Pass, which is 10 bucks. Again, hey, cheaper than a new game for 60 bucks. I guess the free-to-play aspect is like a demo to get you interested in the full experience. Kind of like uh, Let It Die, which was by the same company as this game. The game has single player and multiplayer, and in multiplayer you have two modes, Battle Royale and Team Battle. You're a ninja, and you have to fight for your life with these foamy fruity weapons and gum. A lot of gum. It's probably where the Splatoon comparisons come in, and yeah, they look alike and they have similar styles, but Splatoon is messy, and this is just more cartoony. You slam and slash and zoom your way to victory, and if you're not careful, your ass is grass. And if there's any kid watching right now, uh, ass is another word for donkey. Sometimes when you, uh, hit the bad guy and they hit you at once, uh, you go into this rock-paper-scissors mode where you have to, uh, decide which button to get the upper hand. And I suck at these because I don't know which one is the good part, because sometimes there's an arrow that's bigger than the rest and I think that's the right part, but no, I get slammed into the wall a million times and I'm just tired of it. This is supposed to be a kid's game, and it's hard. At least it has the decency to say, hey, ask your parents' permission before you buy this microtransaction, ooh. The customization option is what really drew me in, and what I think is the most unique thing about it is that you don't pick a gender. You could just have a guy face with girl hair, and a guy voice and vice versa. I don't know about you, but I think that's pretty progressive. <coughs> I don't know what this yellow thing is, but I want one. <laughs> the game just came out as of this recording, and so far, I can see a lot of potential. I think what needs to be fixed is that the currency should have more ways of obtaining, like, uh, the better you do at, uh, the more jolly you get, kind of like Crash Team Racing. Other than that, it's fun. There's even a story mode that they're going to be releasing new chapters for every now and then. I sure wish I could skip cutscenes. So it's a fun game. Hope it gets better. Stay salty, everybody.